Okay, so have you ever watched a young tr child count to 10? Fingers probably moving as fast as those numbers are going up, right? Well, researchers say there's a reason why they do it. Mm -hmm. And as Channel 2 anchor Lauren Freeman is about to show us here, it's not something children should worry about hiding. What? Sometimes when you're first learning math, help is right at the end of your hand. Say you want to add four plus three. Seven. Or five plus three. But is it okay for young kids to rely on their fingers? There's different lines of evidence that suggest that fingers can be useful, uh, especially in childhood, to learn about math and calculations. Educational neuroscientist Alaria Bertoletti studies the role of finger movement and finger representation in math learning. In a study of 40 children ranging in age from 8 to 13, the researchers put kids in an fMRI imaging machine and told them not to move their hands. Then they were asked to do multiplication and subtraction problems. Even though their hands remained still, the portion of the brain that controls the fingers still showed activity. And um, what we then saw is that activations for motor um, hand representation was higher for subtraction. Bertoletti says the findings suggest that fingers are good tools for children to learn the basic subtraction and addition. She says parents can also teach the correspondence between numbers and objects by using fingers to count during everyday activities. When counting the stairs, they could start raising the fingers at the same time as they're using the words. When you let your children's fingers do the counting, you're setting the table for strong math skills. By the way, the scientists also learned that the finger representation portion of the brain did not activate strongly when the kids were doing multiplication, suggesting that's a skill that relies more on a child's memory. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Your own personal abacus right there on that's the That's it.